Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio, Roselle, New Jersey. Uh, this is part two of the video. I'll leave a link to part one in the description below. And uh, this is Tony's bike. Um, the original radio, I said that the bike was shipped up from Florida. I assume because the bike had Florida plates. It was actually shipped from California. Um, he's in the military, so he travels from state to state. And so he got screwed over pretty bad by a previous shop. Um, the bike wasn't built the way that he wanted to. I had a complete description in video part one. Um, we were able to make him happy. So what happened was he had shipped the bike to the shop. He was specific on what he wanted done. Um, they used all high quality equipment, but he didn't want anything in his tour pack. They drilled holes in his brand new tour pack, mount the amplifiers in the tour pack. Um, when he told them that's not where they wanted it, um, they left his tour pack full of holes and then moved the amplifiers into the saddlebags. He did not realize the amplifiers were in the saddlebag until he took delivery of the bike. The bike had been shipped to the shop and it was shipped back to him. So he was very upset that one saddlebag was completely full of amplifiers. So he had amplifiers in the fairing, amplifiers in one saddlebag. Um, it's not what he wanted. So um, he shipped the end on top of everything. He didn't like the way the bike sounded. So he shipped us the bike from California to New Jersey. We went over the bike and figured out a bunch of mistakes. They uh, sold him mid-range drivers instead of mid-base drivers for the bag. That's why the bag, the saddlebags weren't making any base. Um, they ran like 4,000 watts uh, worth of amplifiers off a of stock battery. So of course the bike couldn't provide the right amount of power because a factory battery is only good for a few hundred watts. So step-by-step um, step, we upgraded everything. We swapped out the mid-range drive. Everything on the bike was Euphoria Expert. We were able to reuse all the speakers. The only thing we weren't able to reuse is the amplifiers because he wanted the amplifiers in the fairing. So we kept all the speakers, Euphoria Expert. Uh, the carbon mid-range, we swapped out for a set of carbon mid-base in the bags. Um, we changed the mounting rings in the bags to allow the extra travel of the larger mid-base drivers. Um, we opted to go with a Sound Digital Evo X 1200.4 to run all the mids and a Sound Digital Evo X to 1600.1 to run the eight inch mid bass drivers, ran a doobie bass knob in the front so he can have the clipping indicator up front and control the volume of his mid bass drivers from the front of the bike. Uh, the DSP that they used was rather large, so we needed the space, so we scaled the DSP down to an HK mini DSP. So now all the amplifiers, DSP, everything neatly fits in the fairing. Um, Euphoria mid range carbon coax in the fairing. Um, high power Euphoria Expert carbon 6 by 9s in the lids and 8 inch carbon mid base drivers in the saddlebags. Um, rewired the bike with uh, Stinger wiring and she's good to go. Check out the way it sounds. Um, he's completely happy with the way it sounds now. He's able to enjoy the bike. His tour pack is completely empty. Saddlebags only have one mid base driver in each and all the amps are in the fairing. It's what he asked for from the beginning. So, uh, Thank you for trusting us um, with your build, and it came out awesome. Glad you're happy. Uh, check out the video of how she sounds. Um, there's going to be a link in the description below of part one to the video. I'm down, take a look around